The government has added items to the food basket under price control with an aim to reduce the effects of the gas price increase on the price of commodities. Prime Minister Stevenson King says another 22 items have been added to that basket. He says these items will be subject to government markup on their retail and wholesale prices. Government has agreed to increase the list of goods under the price control. This will help create a basket of goods of approximately 44 products, an additional 22 items, which reflects goods used by the majority of the consuming public and which are determined to be vital to the maintenance of a reasonable and healthy standard of living. Consumer Affairs Minister Guy Mayer says he will take this food list with him when he meets with regional heads later this month in Dominica. Mayer says the intention is to have CARICOM reduce or remove the import duties on these items as well. That is being uh, formalized and, and finalized at a quoted meeting which takes place in Guyana from the 24th to the 26th of January. All of the islands are expected to submit their list to, to the CARICOM Secretariat and we will agree on that basket at that quoted meeting at the end of the month. The consumption tax and price control measures, these are national issues that we do not need Cotes permission for. And so we have agreed on what we are doing nationally um, in terms of C tax and price control. It is the ones that require the removal or reduction of import duties that we need to wait on Cotes for. The Economic and Planning Minister has joined the discussion on the gas price increase having a ripple effect on supermarket prices. Osbert Dovey says the gas price increase will not be the main reason supermarket prices increase. Supermarket prices increase because the, the goods are being imported from outside. We aren't manufacturing these goods. And therefore the prices that are taking place, the price increases that are taking place globally are already feeding through into the cost of the goods that we import into St. Lucia. So whether we like it or not, these price increases are coming out of the rest of the world into St. Lucia because by and large, we import most of the products that are sold in the supermarkets. At least two big supermarkets have expressed interest in opening shop on St. Lucia. That is also expected to ease the burden of the high cost of food and break a perceived supermarket monopoly on the island. Shannon Lebon, HDS News Channel 4.